how's it going today? My name's Colton and I'm here from the Elyria Public Library System and I'm here to tell you about a brand new YA book that just came out a couple months ago that I think you guys will really enjoy. The book is called Everybody Looking by Candice Elo and it is actually their first book and it was also a finalist for the National Book Award which means it's really good you don't need me to tell you about it. The book's main character is named Ada and you see her through her first semester of college but it also kind of goes back and forth between first grade, second grade, as well as middle school, but the majority of the book takes place in her first semester of college. Now, one of the things you'll notice when you start reading the book is that it looks a little different than a traditional book. That's because the book is written in verse, which is something I've never read before, but what that means is that each page is a different poem, and each page is written in a free verse poem, to be more specific. What that means is that there's no rhyming on the end, and there's no real structure to how each poem needs to look. So sometimes we'll have really long poems that are full whole paragraphs. Sometimes we'll have really skinny poems that are just, they're skinny, yeah, skinny poems with just one word to kind of convey different emotions. And sometimes they'll be just lists. It depends on whatever the author chooses because since they're working with such fewer words in a more traditional book, each word means so much more. And each word is far more deliberate than you would in a more traditional book. But I actually really, really liked it, uh, that it was that way. And to give you guys a little bit of a taste of how the book is, how the book works, I thought I'd read uh, one, of the par one of the poems to you guys. So this is from earlier in the book, and it is called Ada. Ada, in the Igbo language, means first daughter, means oldest girl, means pressure, means you are expected to do a lot of things you don't want to do. Because the honor of this family rests on your back. Ada's mother in the book is mostly absent. So her main caregiver is her father, who is um, a Nigerian immigrant, who is very religious, very strict, and has a set idea of how Ada should live her life. So a lot of the book is kind of her struggling with pleasing her family and those expectations, which is kind of what was happening in the poem that I read, versus what she really wants to do. And what she really wants to do is dance. And it's the only thing she cares about when she talks about it. The poems get bigger and more descriptive because it's what her life is. And, but it's something her dad just won't understand because he doesn't see the monetary worth in her trying to learn dance. And I really, really liked this book. My favorite part about the book was just how honest and real the character of Ada felt. She felt so fully formed and so human. It was really cool to kind of get to hear her thoughts and get to see how she tries to understand the first semester of college. And what I really liked is that she doesn't do very well. She struggles immensely with going to college for the first time. She actually goes to Howard University a historically black college because she was a uh, one of the only few uh, kids of color in her school so she was looking for something a little more different but still she struggles and I found that relatable and very believable believable because it's hard the first semester of college is tough it's can be lonely you don't really know what you're doing you, you can get lost very easily and I really appreciated the way Ada came across because it was believable and one of, the, one of the other things I thought was relatable was her wanting to do something more in an art field versus something more traditional as her dad wanted her to do. He wanted her to take accounting classes, to get a more stable job, you know, and I felt the same way when I was in college. I, I, and a lot of people probably feel this way too when you tell people what you're majoring in, if it's more of an art versus you know science or math they kind of go what are you going to do with that decree and that was kind of what she was struggling with and i thought that was really cool while i found a lot of the character of ada relatable what i enjoyed more about the book was just how unrelatable she was to me because i don't know if you can tell by the cover of this book but we don't really look too similar do we so i really enjoyed getting to experience the way Ada experiences everyday life. I wasn't the child of Nigerian immigrants. You know, I wasn't treated the way she was treated in school. I 
didn't go through the trauma that she did when she was in first grade. And I thought that was really interesting to be able to see a character like this and to read about her and really enjoy it. And I think it would be cool if you read characters that aren't really like you. I know a lot of people that look like Ada that don't really have books that look like her. And I know they would get a really enjoyment out of the connection and the similarities that they probably go through every single day. So I thought I would read one more poem that gives a little bit of a, that explains a little bit of her life and how it was growing up. This is uh, still towards the beginning of the book, around about the half. At school, I was the funny black girl. My voice was an instant punchline. My body an awkwardly shaped and useless pile of flesh. My hair styled too many years back, my clothes carrying the stench of stockfish and pepper soup. My father too proud to understand that being different meant being alone. And so I thought it was just really cool to get to experience what this character experienced. And I think you guys would enjoy it too. Now, age-wise, um, this is a YA book, so I would suggest uh, sixth grade and up, but I think adults will really enjoy this book as well. Um, I know I did. Um, just a little bit of a content warning. There are some things that are tough in the book. Some things she experiences in first grade are awful, but they do happen. And we do, you know, so she tells it in a way to show how Ada makes it through and tries to handle these things that really happen to people like this. So it is a tough part. So I do want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up but I think you guys will enjoy it. But don't take my word for it. Find out for yourself when you read Everybody Looking, available today. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to the Elyra Public Library's YouTube channel for other great content, too. Have a good day. Bye!